this lesson, I'm going to give you a basic overview of how to pick and choose color. So first of all, we can choose and see your color over on their tools panel, and we can see a black square and a white square, and this is set by default. When you click on the black square, color picker will appear. At the moment, we can't see any color. I'm just going to move this along. But if we move the slider up, then all our colors will appear. Then you can simply click on the color spectrum, and then you can choose your color. So perhaps I like this pink, then we hit OK. Then our color picker will change to pink. So anything that we create now will be in this pink color. Next, I'm going to show you another fun way of choosing colors. Go up to File, Place Embedded. I'm going to choose this emerald green leaf and place. Double click. So perhaps there is an image and I really like the colors from it. I want to use the colors. Then go over to your color picker, click on that. Again, we can move this around. As you come out of your color picker, an ink dropper icon will appear. So you can simply click on your canvas or where the colors are that you like, and it will choose the color for you. When you're done with that, hit OK. So perhaps we really like this color, but we also like the pink that we used previously. But the pink is gone, so this is where our swatches panel comes in very handy. The swatch window can be found here. If you can't see that, then go up to window and down to swatches and it should appear. As you can see in the top row, it's all the recent colors that we've used. So here's the green and here's the pink. We simply select the pink color and the pink will change over on our color picker. By default, you will have a certain amount of colors shown here. These are all my favorite colors that I've liked to use. So perhaps you want to save a set of colors that you would use for your branding or perhaps a design. To do that, go up to your color picker again and this time add to swatches. You can rename your color. You can add it to an online library, but I'm going to leave that off for just now and then hit OK. As you notice down at the bottom here, this color will appear. So you can then click around, choose a different color, add to swatches, hit OK and your color will appear here. So this is really handy if you just want to select a color for future use. So hopefully that gives you a little insight into how to use and pick colors. Later on in this course, we will be designing various projects and we will be referring to certain colors. So I want to show you how to add these colors to your swatches panel for later use. Go up to file and open and we're going to locate the color guide that's included within the free design kit. So once you've found that, select open. Okay, so we have various colors here that I've already pre-selected and these are all taken from the floral artwork. So they all should match very nicely. So to create a swatch, click on your color picker, your ink dropper should appear, click on the color and then add to swatches. You can name this swatch here if you like and don't worry about adding it to your library. Then hit OK and then you can simply select all the colors and as you can see they're starting to appear now at the bottom of my swatches panel. Okay, so later on in our projects, we will be referring to these colors. So it's a good idea to open up your color guide and add these colors to your swatches.